So now Beijing expected to raise tariffs on $60 billion worth of U.S. goods tomorrow. This is in retaliation for the Trump administration's decision to raise tariffs on $200 billion in Chinese imports. Edward Lawrence watching that in Washington with more on that. So June 1 is tomorrow. That's the big day. How are you doing, Edward? Hey, hey, Bill. Yeah, a very big day. But you know what? Today, China is stepping up the retaliation, announcing their own unreliable entity list. Now, a spokesman for the Chinese Commerce Ministry says that that list will include companies, organizations, individuals who China deems as impeding their legitimate economic rights. Now, this is upping the ante of retaliation. The U.S. Commerce Department added Huawei to our entity list, and that banned U.S. technology imports from going to the largest telecommunications manufacturer in the world. Now, the move, in essence, cut the company off at the knees because Huawei relied on U.S. technology and components to roll out its 5G network globally. Now, China gives the list, or China's list gives them the ability to go after U.S. companies, possibly Apple, which has a large footprint in China. Now, Apple has an R&D center in four cities, as well as the company's iPhone production. In an exclusive interview on Fox Business Network today, Vice President Mike Pence outlined why standing up to China is so important. Issues, intellectual property rights, forced technology transfers, um, the, the, essentially the respect for private property that at this point China has not reflected in their practices, and we need to see reforms in that regard. And as you mentioned, tomorrow China's retaliation tariffs go up on $60 billion of U.S. imports from 5% to, in some cases, 10, 20%, even 25%. That really targets farmers who are importing into China. The Trump administration is taking steps this month to possibly have the option of putting everything that China imports to the United States under a 25% tariff.